the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to The Morning Show. Today is Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019, and a B-Day. Good morning, I'm Nick. Good morning, I'm Taylor. The EMCC field trip has been changed to March 1st, 2019. There are permission <laughs> slips in the Counseling Center. Be sure to fill out both sheets and return to the Counseling Secretary no later than February 15th. The RIT Girls in STEM Fair aims to inspire love for science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and computing STEM in K-12 girls through hands-on activities, exposure to role models, and by sharing information about exciting opportunities in STEM. We want to make sure that the creative problem solvers of tomorrow include diversity of thought and experience. The success of girls in STEM will strengthen our future workforce, foster innovation to benefit our communities, and open the doors to amazing life opportunities for our girls. For the first time, the RIT Girls in STEM Fair is offering an essay contest for girls in grades 5 through 12. Your essay must be under the word limit noted for your grade level. A panel of RIT women in STEM and RIT K through 12 team members will judge essays. For more information, please visit the bulletin board outside the Counseling Center. The Navy will be here visiting on January 14th from 10.30 to 12.30 in the cafeteria. Ski and Snowboard Club members, tomorrow is our first trip to Bristol Mountain. Please make sure to arrive early to school to store your ski equipment in the small dining room next to the nurse's office. Buses will depart at 2.45 p.m. from the lot near the tennis courts. Bring your ski and rental pass to avoid Bristol's replacement charge. See Mrs. Draghi with the questions. And that is it for me, and now over to Taylor. Thank you, Nick. It's not too late to participate in the library Schrader Reads Challenge. Read a book of your own choosing prior to January 15th to be recognized. All students and staff are invited to our Schrader Reads celebration on Tuesday, January 15th after school in the library. Student authors Emerson Orman and Katherine Ryder will kick things off with a presentation on their recently published novel, R. Wendy. Over the break, the varsity wrestling team went 6-2, and two, finishing in third place at the Mountain Duels. One of their wins was over the number one ranked small school in the state, Central Valley. Luke Lupicella and Anthony Grimshaw finished the tournament 8-0, while Jonathan Burrinson and Anthony F Ethan Fargo went 7-1. Attention Model UN Chair people, our final mandatory training session will be this Friday, January 4th, either 4th or 5th period in room 200. Please contact a Global 10 teacher if you cannot attend. Today's Warriors of the Day are Mr. Fabry and Mr. Eckler, who were nominated by Mrs. Hackett and Valerie Rivera. Mr. Fabry and Mr. Eckler lent their rooms to host a Christmas party. Mr. Fabry and Mr. Eckler, please see Mr. Collins for a small token of appreciation and thank you for being a warrior who cares. That's it for me and now over to Mr. Benz. Thank you and good morning. Welcome back everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019. Seniors, your year is here. We're going to have an exciting time over the next several months. Um, and you may know or not know that on this Friday already is a 100 class days left for seniors. So 100 class days already this Friday. Sounds early, doesn't it? Anyway, a uh, couple quick reminders. We will have in the next few days, we'll be um, implementing a new after school procedure for safety and security reasons and more information on that to come. But I wanted to wish everyone um, a happy new year and welcome back. Hopefully you had a restful and wonderful break. That's it for me, and that's it for the morning show today. Thank you.